Welcome back. We all deal with trauma in different ways. Some seek therapy, some try meditation, and others you're about to see get a four-legged companion. In tonight's Utah Caring Stories, Doug Jessup shows us how service dogs and veterans are rescuing each other every day. The idea really came about from rescuing dogs and led to rescuing people. Canines with a Cause provide second chances for both dogs and veterans. A service dog was almost like a prescription. All the veterans in our program, they are referred through the VA as someone who would benefit from having a service or an assistance dog and being able to take care of it. Andy Morris served in the U.S. Navy for 22 years. Five days later after I signed in, Iraq invaded Kuwait. And I got to see the world. What does trauma mean to you? It's kind of up to us on if we allow it to control us or if we allow our changes to benefit us. When you're dealing with trauma, going out in public can be tough. Our dogs are trained that if you have PTSD and you're in Walmart and your mind is going back to this trauma-related situation, that dog knows what to do when you start going into your anxiety, whether it's barking, licking your face, moving you away from people. What do you want people to know about interacting with a service dog? I think the main thing that people have to understand is that a service dog is working. So say, Doug, you're, you're interviewing me right now and some person sees that and they run up and they start going, Doug, 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 I'm going to grab your head and try and talk to you in your face. That's exactly what people are doing when they come up to a service dog. The dogs are doing a job. I just really want to thank everybody that has been kind enough to say, hey, is it okay? And that do the check-in. I want to thank them for doing that and encourage others to continue with that. Kathy, why do you do what you do? But when you see the, the final story and you keep in touch with people, that you know that they were a point of, of suicide at one point, and now they're having families and they're really getting back to having life again, it makes it all worthwhile. These stories deserve to be told. These are Utah Caring Stories. I'm Doug Jessup, ABC4 News.